Great. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. It was a challenge for you to access the stairway, Kate Walker. I suggest you finish what you have to do upstairs before you go back down. photo shows the house partially destroyed. Must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. Remembrance of the eternal bond between the Roses and the Zimmers. Signed, Adam Z. This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. More stock for the shop. Nothing of interest in here. Double bed, plenty of space. Must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where's Dana's room then? The number of rooms don't add up. Just what I needed. family portrait. That must be Dana with her parents.
It's been bricked up. Most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. The bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. That's it, Oscar. I think I know where Dana's room is. Enlighten me, Kate Walker. Well, one of the photos shows a bedroom that's not on the second floor, right? And we know that the staircase was bricked up during the renovation and led to another floor. So that's got to be where we'll find Dana's missing bedroom. It seems plausible, indeed. It does. And if we're lucky, the room might be pretty much like Dana left it all those years ago, and potentially with clues to put us back on her track. I've just got to find a way to get to that third floor bedroom. Seeing as you failed to create a positive bond with Frau Hegel, the next rational step would be to take a look outside the building, Kate Walker. You're right, Oscar. Let's go and see. I've already found what I was looking for upstairs. No point going back and risking getting caught. I hope you won't hold it against me. opinion on this. Looks like that fire escape staircase serves every floor of the house. That is correct, Kate Walker. Perhaps you should find a way to use it. Better try something else. So what do you think, Oscar? I think I would have liked the body with longer front legs. I was talking about the window up there. Must be Dana's room, right? Oh, of course. There is a high probability that you are not wrong, Kate Walker. Looks like the staircase serves every floor, including Dana's. I conjecture that you are probably right, Kate Walker.
The second floor windows will be of no use to reach the staircase. Well, we can't get to the staircase from the first floor windows. Indeed, Kate Walker. All the windows you could have used are obstructed. The ladder to the first floor is up. It's too high for me to pull down. Looks like there's a mechanism up there to lower the ladder. That drain pipe leads to a ledge that leads to the staircase. According to my calculations, the drain pipe will not hold you, Kate Walker. And even if you were lighter, the ledge is too narrow for you to stand on. Hey, are you trying to tell me something, Oscar? Yes, you are too heavy and too wide, Kate Walker, for the ledge. Gee, thanks, Oscar. So basically, it's not going to be easy to use the staircase to get to Dana's room. There is no other way. Access is denied from inside the first and second floors, and the third floor stairwell is bricked up. The fire escape staircase is the only possibility, Kate Walker. But you cannot climb up the drain pipe because of your weight and size. I heard you the first time, thanks. You are welcome, Kate Walker. So, the only way up is by the fire escape staircase, and that means lowering the ladder from the first floor. We'll just have to go back inside and make it to the staircase through a window. That is not possible, Kate Walker. As I clearly recall saying, the windows are obstructed. Well, I don't have a choice. I'll just have to make myself thin and climb up the drain pipe. An unwise choice, Kate Walker, if you don't mind me saying so. It is highly probable that the drain pipe will not hold your weight, and no matter how thin you make yourself, even if it did, the ledge is too narrow for you to reach the staircase. Well, in that case, there's only one solution. As you're so light and slim, Oscar, you'll have to climb up the drain pipe and walk across the ledge for me. Then you just need to activate the mechanism to lower the steps so that heavy me can take the staircase route. I was not made to climb up drain pipes, Kate Walker. I am a precision-made automaton. Come on, Oscar. You saved the day more than once at Baranor. It must be second nature by now. But how can I lower myself to scurrying like a... a rat? Because you're a fine fellow and my faithful friend? <sighs> Kate Walker, help! I believe I am stuck here! Stay calm, Oscar! I'm coming! Glad that you're safe and sound. I guess that's one way of putting it, Kate Walker. I'm also glad you haven't lost your positive attitude. Phew. <sighs> 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 that useless. 
lifeless body. Now I must find another way. And climbing up all over again. Be careful there, Oscar. I'm going to need help here. Get Walker! I... I'm going to need you again! How am I supposed to get rid of that pigeon? That doesn't work. No, I don't think so. it at the pigeon, but maybe I can use it some other way. Huh. Made our point, I guess. Maybe this body will be useful in the end. Locked, of course. Kate Walker, if I were meant to be used as a cannonball, I would have been given a fuse. This is highly irregular. Tuck your head in, Oscar. One. If Hans Borrelberg could see me now. Two. How... Three. Undignified. Oh my, oh my. Really? Is this any way to treat an intelligent automaton? Really, if Mr. Vorlberg could see me now... He would say, you've saved the day again, Oscar. You've exceeded all expectations by far. Okay, let's try and find out what became of Dana after she left the refuge. No doubt about it, this must have been Dana's room. A part's missing. Now's not the right time to leave. There's something 
something underneath. Can't reach it. Can't be that heavy. That's better. It's from the Music Academy. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. I'm sure there's more stuff to find in here. There must be. I have to keep looking. The room was ransacked and pillaged. During a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Dana was away that day. It's blocking it. Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. stuck. This was written not long after her time at the refuge. A letter from Leon. So he did write back to Dana after the expedition left Kantar, the capital of Valtayar. The High Plateau of Valtayar, October 25th, 1937. My, My darling, darling Edelweiss. Edelweiss. I hate myself for not sending you news more often, and for not being able to receive news of you. I find myself now, where probably no other modern-day human has ever ventured before. I regret to inform you that I won't be able to go back to Europe with my fellow survivors.
something bad happened during the expedition. I, no doubt, am partly to blame. Nevertheless, I would like you to know my version of the events. After hard days of hiking, we set up our base camp on the threshold of a high valley where rhododendrons grew. All the witnesses seemed to concur. This was where the Gorun, the famous man of the mountains, was most frequently sighted. For many long weeks, we explored without success every valley and mountain surrounding the camp. Autumn was approaching, the rivers started to freeze at the edges, and the prospect of having to head back with nothing for our toil was becoming more and more apparent. The joyful banter of the first weeks was no more. The men were becoming moody and tense. Especially our chief, Reinhard Berger. Up we get, Leon. Another day on a wild goose chase. I'd better get kitted up before going out. I should take my gear before going out. has already left. The scolding that Berger gave them yesterday about their lack of results in tracking down the Gorons really got to him. Sauer's thesis. From what I understand, he accepted to work for the Brown Shadow because they were the only ones who would finance his research. What a waste. Goethe's Faust, one of Junta's posh friends, Murnau, if I remember rightly, turned it into a film about ten years ago. I think the poor chap's dead now, though. All those books. Only Horst could cut about works of anthropology beyond the frontiers of the known world. The march of science knows no bounds for him. I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. These biscuits don't compare with old Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. I 
I'm so glad Junta lent it to me. I was able to take wonderful pictures behind Berger's back. Hope I can get back to sketching the valley. But with Berger putting on the pressure at the moment, I doubt it. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. It's tough not to be able to receive or give any news since leaving civilization. No chance of me venturing into the mountain without that. Better get going before. Do you know what time it is? Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Cobertis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. You know full well Huss and the Brown Shadow forced me into this. And besides, my mission was to guide you and the rest of the expedition here, not to get involved in your harebrained research. I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. And if I refuse, what are you going to do about it? Is the bookworm about to turn nasty, huh? Rest assured, Cobatis, I have no desire for an idiotic fistfight. If you prefer drawing silly romantic sketches instead of helping poor Sauer, who's probably already lost, that's up to you. But for me, I intend to refer the matter to Herr Hurst. And then we'll see what the brown shadow does with your little waitress friend. You watch it, Berger. <laughs> Bloody creature be holed up. Look, can't you see I'm busy? I asked you to go up the river and find Sour. Poor animal. Berger's gone out of his mind with this search for the abominable snowman of his. The mountain's dangerous and we're prepared for the worst. I only hope we don't have to use it.
With this, I'll be able to venture out for as long as it takes to find Sour. Not what you'd call cute, this Gorun. Just as well they haven't found it yet. Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born. This medal must belong to Bauer. He must have left it behind when he turned in for the night. Bauer's daughter. I sometimes forget I'm not the only one who left behind someone dear back across the mountains. Go and find Sour. I hope you're not thinking of going inside my tent, Cobertis. Hmm, no one here. Bauer and Iege must have already taken off in search of the Gorun. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. Ship shape. Typical Bauer. Bauer, are oh, you little... There's nothing more to do here, I guess. I should leave the camp now. But you'll have it coming, Bauer. Get going. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. Anyone there? Looks like someone's left their gear over there. Better check it out. Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. 
that's sour all over. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? Whoever it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably sour. But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? I'd better have a look around to find out what happened here. What on earth is that? That mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. I'd better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. God's name is that? Sour? What in the world? Shh! Look what I found! Is that a... A guru? Yes! It's a Gorun! I heard him cry as I was taking a break near the path. Hurry, we must go fetch the others. You go, he looks injured. I'd better stay and try and reach him before the current carries him away. Right, Leon. Okay. But don't lose him. All right, little fella. Don't move. I'm coming to get you. It's too strong to swim across. Better find another way. All sorts of debris has been carried by the river. But other than trying to build a raft, I don't know what use it can be. isn't very thick. Mm, bad idea. not the time to get a dunking. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to look at your moment. Um, what 
can I give him to show I mean no ill? Mm, bad idea. Thirsty little fella? There you go. Good boy. It's all right. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. Good boy. Eat up, fella. Good, isn't it? Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella, <laughs> if you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? It's broken, all right. It must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fella. I'll be right back. The Goron might become anxious if I leave now. There must be something around here I can use to take care of him. I need to find something to make a splint for the Gorn. Better be quick. There's two bits of driftwood washed up there. They're straight enough to help get the Gorn back to camp. I could use those creepers to tie up the Goron splint. They seem to be stuck. They should do fine to hold the Goron splint together. Here we go, fella. This is going to sting a little. Oh. There, wasn't so bad, was it?
Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. Did you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better draw than talking, huh? Now we just have to wait for the others. Huh? Oh! You want another biscuit? <laughs> you learn quick. It was a young specimen, my darling Dana, almost like a child, and as soon as we made eye contact, I knew this was a creature endowed with reason. When my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. <laughs> what is wrong with it? Fruit! Have some fruit! You shut him up in a cage! What do you expect? He's frightened! Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it!
It must be the Gorn's mother. If we give it back, she'll probably leave. And you try this of an adult specimen? You bad. All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her. It will never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? No! But I couldn't let you shoot them. Reinhardt? You alright? But he... He's killed Berger! Bauer... Wait... Y you saw... It was an accident! He was going to kill the Gorim, sir! So I, I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin! Looks like they're busy, probably discussing what to do with me. If I can just loosen these ties, I'll be able to slip away without them noticing. Oh dear lord, Berger. I'm sorry. I never meant to. That stone looks sharp enough. If I can reach it, maybe I can cut myself free. I'll bring him some soup. We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. It doesn't surprise me. I came across a letter from Bauer that made me the scapegoat for everything that's gone wrong. Bauer had been planning this for some time now. Well, that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. We must pretend to be tied up. Wait for them to fall asleep. Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? Yes, but what?
So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. I don't know what will become of me, where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks, or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. remember that my love for you is as strong as ever and that my greatest desire is to hold you in my arms. I love you more than anything in the world. Leon, your alpine lover. Dana! Oh my goodness! Dana! What's wrong, Poppet? Lena, come quick! 